In the heart of a quaint village nestled between rolling hills, lived a young girl named Elara. With her vibrant spirit and curious mind, Elara was beloved by all who knew her. However, she possessed a rather peculiar quality, she had an uncanny ability to communicate with animals. This gift had been passed down through generations in her family. A secret that was closely guarded. One day, while exploring the woods near her village, Elara stumbled upon a wounded fawn. The delicate creature had a thorn embedded deep within its tender paw. Alara's heart swelled with compassion. And without hesitation, she knelt down beside the fawn. Please, don't be afraid, Elara whispered softly. Her emerald eyes locked onto the fawn's gentle gaze. I won't hurt you. Let me help. As Elara extended her hand, the fawn's eyes seemed to express gratitude and acceptance. With deft and gentle fingers, she extracted the thorn, alleviating the creature's pain. The fawn nuzzled against Alara's hand. A silent acknowledgement of the bond they had formed. Word of Alara's miraculous gift spread throughout the village, captivating the imagination of everyone who heard it. The village elders saw in her a unique opportunity to bridge the gap between humans and animals. To build a harmonious relationship that would benefit them all. The elders approached Elara with a proposal. To serve as the villagers' ambassador to the animal kingdom. Mediating disputes. Understanding their needs. And fostering cooperation. Elara. Humbled by the idea of contributing to her community in such a meaningful way. Accepted their offer. Months turned into years. And Alara's bond with the animals grew stronger. She became a bridge between species. An ambassador of peace. Her understanding of the animals' needs led to better management of resources. Reduced conflicts and a flourishing ecosystem that provided for both villages and wildlife alike. However, with this newfound role came an unexpected challenge. A severe drought struck the region, causing the once gentle stream that flowed through the village to shrink to a mere trickle. The animals suffered, their thirst unquenched, and tensions between humans and wildlife escalated. Elara knew she had to take decisive action to save the delicate balance she had worked so hard to achieve. She convened a meeting of both village leaders and animal representatives by the withered stream. She stood in front of them, her voice firm and resolute. We are at a crossroads, Elara began. The drought threatens us all, human and animal alike. We must decide on a course of action together. To ensure the survival of our shared home. As conversations flowed, differing opinions arose. Some villagers were desperate to divert what little water remained for their own survival. While the animals fought to prioritize their needs. Tensions flared. And the once harmonious gathering turned into a chaotic clash of interests. In the midst of the turmoil, Elara held her ground. She closed her eyes taking a deep breath, and stepped forward. Silence fell upon the assembly as she raised her arms. Palms outstretched. A universal gesture of peace. We must find a solution that benefits us all, she declared. Her voice unwavering. Let us share the water. Ensuring that both villages and animals have what they need to endure this drought. Her words hung in the air. Heavy with the weight of the decision that had to be made. Slowly, the tension began to dissipate. Replaced by a shared understanding of the gravity of the situation. The villagers looked at one another. Nodding in agreement. While the animals communicated their approval in their own silent ways. And so, a pact was formed. Guided by Alara's unwavering decisiveness. The villagers devised creative ways to conserve water, while the animals, grateful for the shared resources, contributed by lending their unique skills to aid the village in ways they never had before. As the drought eventually receded and the silent stream began to flow again, 
It was no longer just a physical lifeline. It symbolized the power of unity, of coming together despite differences, and making decisions that ensured the welfare of all beings. The villagers and animals now lived side by side, their relationship stronger than ever. All thanks to the decisive actions and unwavering determination of a young girl named Elara. Hey! Bridge between two worlds.